Do you know when eaten regularly, biofortified foods can provide 40% to 100% of daily needs of a given micronutrient? Hi, I'm Ravinder Grover. I'm the program lead for commercialization of biofortified crops at Harvest Plus. I'm going to talk about what the various trends that are shaping up the global food sector today and how corporates and private sector can leverage biofortification as a strategy to generate profits with the purpose and create social enterprises. First things first, what is biofortification? It's a science and art of breeding minerals and vitamins like iron, zinc and vitamin A into common staple crops. Most of the times we use widely grown staples like wheat, maize, rice, millets, beans and cassava so that the foods derived from these staples are naturally nutritious. Biofortification is helping the vulnerable populations like young children, adolescent girls, women of child bearing age to combat malnutrition. It's very good for the society. But does it make commercial sense? As per some estimates, biofortification market in 2018 stood at around 74 million US dollar and it's growing at a CAGR of 8%. So what is driving the demand for biofortified foods? Consumers are demanding for more and more naturally nutritious foods. Demand for clean label foods stood at around $38 billion and was growing and was about to grow to $64 billion by 2026. Consumers are becoming more and more willing to pay the premium for eco-friendly products. That market is growing at a hopping 26%. With the pandemic, more and more people are asking for immunity foods which are naturally rich in vitamin and minerals. And that's where biofortification comes into the picture. So all these factors put together are generating the robust demand for biofortified foods. Overall, macro environment is also very favorable. Governments all across the globe are, are endorsing biofortification in their policy documents. There are more and more governments coming up with initiatives to include biofortification in the safety net schemes like school feeding programs, public distribution systems, etc. We have a very good enabling environment for biofortification. Zinc and iron standards for biofortified grains are already launched. The work on vitamin A standards is on. So all these factors put together make a create a very conducive environment for companies to include biofortification in their portfolio strategy. More and more companies across the globe are adopting biofortification and coming up with products like breakfast cereals, flowers, meat analogs, which are using nutrient enriched crops or biofortified crops as the key ingredient. Biofortification offers an excellent opportunity for any corporate to generate profits while contributing to the society. So, do you want to spruce up your product portfolio with biofortified products? Please feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to support you with resources, tools and the guidance that's needed for achieving that. Come, let's join this journey together where you make profits while doing good to the society. Thank you very much for listening to me.